North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has launched a record number of missiles this year, and he's made his intentions clear. These are simulations of nuclear attacks on South Korean and U.S. targets. For North Korea, they're trying to perfect their nuclear weapons, uh, and their, their main goal in using those weapons is, is to keep the United States really at home. As North Korean missile launches intensify, world leaders worry a nuclear test is coming. It would be the first since 2017. This conduct by North Korea most recently is a brazen violation of multiple UN security resolutions. It destabilizes security in the region and unnecessarily raises tensions. Friday's test of an intercontinental ballistic missile was the second this month and showed progress in North Korea's missile development. Japan's defense minister calling it one of the most powerful yet, capable of reaching any city in the U.S. ICBMs are designed to carry a nuclear weapon. They have a very robust ballistic missile program. But then there is the, you know, the sort of the, the last element of that, which is can they put a nuclear weapon on, on a delivery vehicle? North Korea has been clear about recent changes to their nuclear policy. According to a new law, Pyongyang claims their weapons are no longer meant to deter, but can be used preemptively for operational missions to repulse hostile forces in response to aggression and attack and to achieve victory in battle if deterrence fails. They can be justified in using nuclear weapons if they've come under a nuclear or non-nuclear attack, or if such an attack is even on the horizon. It was very aggressive. Uh, you know, North Korea is the one that, that is making threats. They, they like to talk about the United States and South Korea and Japan, uh, you know, conducting exercises that, that are really defensive in nature. When you look at the four countries, there's only really one country that's making nuclear threats, and it's North Korea. In response to Pyongyang's latest tests, the U.S. and South Korea conducted drills simulating aerial strikes on North Korean mobile missile launchers. U.S. officials also reiterating a commitment to our allies and warning Kim Jong-un that the use of a nuclear weapon would lead to a swift end of his regime. I reaffirm our ironclad commitment to our Indo-Pacific alliances. Together, the countries represented here will continue to urge North Korea to commit to serious and sustained diplomacy. Experts like Ruggiero say it's important to stop North Korea before they're recognized as a nuclear state. He believes that can be done through a three-pronged pressure campaign involving the military, economic, and diplomatic pressure. While he believes the Pentagon is doing its part, he says the other two elements are seriously lacking. Caitlin Burke, CBN News, Washington.